Hey, it's Rob with Fandroid.com, and I'm here with the Motorola Droid X from Verizon Wireless. We're just going to go through the specs and the hardware really quick, and then I'll give you my impressions. The 4.3-inch screen has over 400,000 pixels in its WVGA resolution, which is 480 by 854 pixels. There are four hardware keys on the bottom, which are Menu, Home, Back, and Search, that feel very much like two separate volume rockers. In the bottom center, you'll notice the microphone, but there are actually three on the device. One on the exact reverse side, and then one on the top. Also on the top, you'll see the 3.5 millimeter headset jack and the on-off button. And just on the other side, you just saw it blink, is the LED status indicator light. On the right side of the phone, we've got the volume rocker and the dedicated camera key. And on the left side, you'll see the micro USB port and the HDMI video out. And there's nothing on the bottom of the device. On the back, you've got an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, and the camcorder takes HD video in 720p. Between the camera and the speakerphone down here is the battery door, and you just push down and drag down to release it. The Droid X has a 1540 milliamp battery that you take out just like it says by pulling, and it pops up. There's 8 gigabytes of internal memory, and you can see it's prepackaged with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. By the way, you do have to pull the battery out in order to get the micro SD card out of that slot, but it just drops right out. The guts of the Droid X include a 1 gigahertz TI OMAP processor and 512 megabytes of RAM. So the first thing you notice about the phone is the 4.3 inch screen, which is absolutely huge. I think, honestly, that's kind of the limit of where I personally would want to put the size of the screen. But it, it's designed pretty uniquely. It's light. It's, per, it's very light. Um, and it's thin. It has this awkward, I would want to say reverse chin. You remember the G1 with the chin at the bottom? This is like the chin at the <laughs> opposite side, kind of. But it's top heavy, but it allows the rest of the phone to be really thin where you're actually holding it. So in your pocket and in your hand, it feels uh, smaller than it actually is. For obvious reasons, it'll draw immediate comparisons to the original Droid and mostly the HTC Evo 4G, which has a 4-inch screen as well. I think this, um, it feels much lighter in the hand. It still feels good, though, and I think a lot of it comes to, from this um, this huge chunk on top that gives it a top-heavy feel, but, uh, but, but a light feel in your hand like it's not a huge object you're holding. Uh, the screen itself is really good. I'd put it right on par with the Evo. I do think the Evo looks a tad bit brighter and more vibrant, but the screen, I don't really have a complaint about the screen. It's still a really great screen. So I used to be a huge fan of hardware keyboards, but since the Motorola Droid, I've been finding that the bigger screens, I don't really need the, the hardware keyboard as much, and the software keyboards work pretty well. Um, and I think that continues with the, uh, with the Droid X and the 4.3 inch screen. That being said, the hardware buttons, I think, are a nice touch, and they give you a good feel, as opposed to the software buttons when, you know, the screen's a little bit frozen and you get frustrated because you're not getting that haptic feedback when you keep tapping it. I just like the, the feel of actually pressing the buttons in. Something not talked about much on phone these days, which is a little bit ironic, is the call quality. And with these three speakers here at the bottom and the rear and at the top, uh, it does a lot for noise reduction, and also if you're taking video and stuff like that, you have some added features. So I think those three mics do a really go good job in, um, in maximizing call quality, too. I found the camera, video, and pictures to be really good. Uh, a couple software adjustments on it really, I think, makes it what it is. Uh, and we'll get into that in the software and the camera review, mostly. The 1 gigahertz processor does a good job with allowing you to really quickly zip through these screens. And you can see I can go slow, but for the most part, if you just, it's really quick if you're just flipping it from uh, page to page to page. When it comes down to it, the Droid X is among the best of the best uh, Android phones out there right now, spec wise. And a lot of what it comes down to, if you like it, if you want it, is the size of the screen at 4.3 inches um, if that's something you can deal with uh, it's great in terms of multimedia and just user experience uh, does it feel good in your hand and how big your hands are and and whatnot um, that's up to you do you want a hardware keyboard that's up to you but uh, overall the specs are great I really like this phone uh, Verizon is, is starting to rack up a ridiculous number of awesome Android handsets and Motorola is doing a pretty darn good at pumping them out so uh, that's the hardware for the Motorola Droid X for Verizon Wireless and I have to say pretty amazing